Fighters Rep 7, Fighting Prides. Saturday, July 27th, 2019 at the Ames Sportsplex in Seal Beach, California. Tickets now on sale at fightersrep.com or watch it live right here on YouTube. What's going on, Knuckleheads? This is George with Fighters Rep. If you like to talk about combat sports and you want to join Knucklehead Nation, click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon right next to it. We'll be doing this every Thursday at 9 for the previews and predictions and immediately after the big fights. I wasn't going to make a video about Callum Smith versus Hassan and Dom, <clears throat> but uh, Callum Smith impressed me so much that I had to go ahead and create this post-fight reaction discussion to Callum Smith, the super middleweight out of the UK, who just absolutely destroyed Hassam and Dam, who is normally a very sturdy guy, and just completely destroyed Hassan and Dam in one of the most terrifying uh, performances. I've seen in a very long time uh, from a young champion, and uh, I'm blown away. Uh, so basically, the fight only went on for three rounds, and, and Dom is no joke. The guy's a former middleweight title holder. He went in there against Callum Smith, a super middleweight title holder that you know a lot of people have been buzzing about. The guy's six foot three, um, and he showed <clears throat> that he knows how to use that height and that length to generate incredible leverage on his punches. It's sort of like a Deontay Wilder type leverage where he's long, he's wirely, a little bit muscular, but man, when he throws those punches, he gets everything into him. And if he connects, I'm telling you, this guy's like a Deontay Wilder for the super middleweight division, albeit he's more technical than Wilder. This guy's definitely more of a boxer, but the comparison I'm making is with reference to their power. So, you know, the fight only went three rounds. In the first round, uh, Callum Smith landed a a counter left hook, dropping Andam and nearly stopped the fight there. Uh, and Dom, very tough guy, you know, got back up. He got back up. We went to the second round. And uh, again, a nasty left hook on and Dom dropping the uh, the Cameroonian native again, you know. And then Dom, just too much heart, too much toughness for his own good, got back up. Now, I was thinking to myself at this point, wow, this 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 kid Smith has got a vicious, a vicious left hook. And then um, in the third round. In the third round, he lands a vicious right hand that <clears throat> that just flattened and Dom. And it was a terrifying blow because it looked like and Dom's soul was leaving his body because on the way down, and Dom was falling back flat. And on the way down, you know, his body was sort of bent over in a sitting position as he was going down. And halfway down, he kind of sat up as if like he woke up or was you know his body was like reacting or twitching to the to the ferociousness of the punch that he just took and it was disturbing to watch and as he sat up uh or as he stood up on his way down he, it caused his head the back of his head to slam into the canvas and it was just brutal it was tough to watch um amazingly and Dom tried getting back up uh, but the referee had seen enough and, and just, you know, stopped the fight. And Dom looked like he could have potentially beaten the count. But, man, I, I agree with the stoppage. I think, uh, you know, just the three rounds, three times he's getting cracked, three times he's getting hurt really bad and dropped. And I think it was time to stop the fight. So, you know, after the fight, Callum Smith, who's expressed interest in fighting Canelo, thought, you know, he said his, my audition went well, <clears throat> you know, Canelo's a special fighter, I gotta wait to see what he does, he's indicated he wants to move up to 168, um, so it looks like he's interested in fighting Canelo, and Canelo has expressed interest, since he's sort of a title holder in the uh, super middleweight division now as well, in fighting Smith, but man, after seeing that fight, if I'm Canelo, if I'm Canelo's management, uh, Canelo's already undersized 
for the middleweight division. I'm not sure you want to fight a six foot three Callum Smith who whenever he touches somebody, he basically uh you know their soul questions whether it wants to remain encapsulated in the body. Man, this guy hits hard. This guy hits hard, and this guy is no joke, and he's super calm in there, and he seems technical, and uh, he's impressive. Uh, So, you know, that's all I have for that. Callum Smith, no joke. I think he just ended Hassan and Dom's career yesterday. Uh, He's ended George Groves' career uh, in last September. This guy's a handful. This guy's a huge problem in the 168-pound division. And uh, if anybody's going to step in there with him, they better have some solid, solid defense. So, Knuckleheads, tell me what you think about Callum Smith. Tell me what you think about that knockout. And uh, we'll talk soon.